Hey Jules Bless Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new I know you can benefit. So people are you familiar with that acronym LUV? L-U-V? I actually was watching is it called The Red Table? Um, maybe. I don't know. It's The Red Table Discussion. It's usually um, Jada P. Get Smith but it was actually Will this time. He had an issue. Um, from back in his days as Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And even though I haven't really respected him because I felt like he just got so incredibly arrogant, he's actually grown a lot. And it was very refreshing um, to see him make an amends with somebody. And what he said, which grabbed my attention, was he said love is something that he always tries to practice with the understanding that L is for listening, U is for understanding, and V is for validating. And that if you come from a point of love, there's no better way, and I agree, I absolutely agree. So I did stay and watch the conversation because that was very mature and very giving. Uh, so that's just all. I just wanted to bring that up and say, might you consider listening to people from love? So for listen, it's without judgment. You have to have your eyes open, your ears open, your heart open, and really just give your undivided attention without any judgment um, so that you can actually understand that individual's issue and recognize it from their perspective. And there's nothing easy about that, that's for sure. Um, usually when people are listening, it's with preconceived notions and they're just waiting for the person to hurry up and shut up so that they can say what they really want to say. And they're not actively learning anything. They're not actively listening. So no judgment. Have those ears open, eyes open, heart open, and truly allow that person to share what their issue is from their perspective. For understand, you know, everybody just wants to be heard, first of all. Everybody. Everybody wants to be validated. Absolutely. And definitely people want to be understood. And so I think that's a lot of the brokenness in the world right now. As I was suggesting with that um, social dilemma that people don't listen to each other, that they want instant gratification, that they want the answer yesterday. And that at the end of all of it, they still don't feel that they were heard or validated, which is why there's more loneliness than ever, more suicide than ever, right? It's not just the pandemic. The pandemic is just making it even more obvious that there was a huge problem to begin with. So you want to understand what their situation is, asking just open, neutral questions and trying to put yourself in their place, you know? I'm a natural investigator, so I automatically ask uh, questions and try and understand what it is that somebody's trying to share with me. Uh, for validate, again, I, I honestly believe, and I've mentioned this before, that people would be able to let go of issues so much sooner. They wouldn't be harboring the burden of their childhood into their adulthood, right? And well past midlife if they ever felt that they were heard, if they ever felt that they were understood, and most certainly if they believed that their feelings were validated. And yeah, some people would say, well, I don't need you to validate me. I, I, I can figure it out on my own. It's human nature. It's human nature to want to communicate, to be heard, and to feel validated. Absolutely. And that kind of goes back to the 12 steps of feelings aren't right or wrong, they just are. So for validate, you want to name them. What are you hearing that person say? You want to acknowledge how they feel. You know, that's a lot of sticking with I statements. What I hear you saying is, what I see that you feel is. And even if you don't share those feelings, oh my goodness, you have the grace to agree with them. At the very least, that idea that feelings aren't right or wrong, they just are. I mean, yeah, it's not my truth, 
But there's nothing more real in that moment than their truth for them. That's absolutely valid. So yeah, I, in, not in a condescending way. And Lord knows I get accused of being condescending all the time. It's not always true for me, but that's kind of just where it goes. Uh, just the idea that I can say, I see that you're hurting. I hear you say that you're frustrated. I understand that what took place for you devastated you, you know? Um, I'm hearing you in my heart, and even though it's not my truth, I absolutely feel for the pain that you're experiencing. I absolutely can understand why it affected you the way that it did. You know, just little things like that, humans need humans, they just do. They really do. I, I think a person who doesn't need another human may literally be missing chromosomes or something. Like it's just human nature to need one another. And so if you're really going to dare to listen, may you listen without judgment, with your ears, your eyes, your heart, to try and understand that person's issue and perspective. Might you understand their situation by asking open, neutral questions and to try and uh, put yourself in their place. And ultimately, dare you validate the feelings that they're expressing. Actually name them so they know they were heard. Acknowledge how they're feeling without judgment. And even if you don't feel, um, like share those feelings, agree with them at the very least, that is true for them. And that that's okay, right? Oh my gosh, it's magic. It's just magic when someone feels validated, heard, and understood. It can change their entire life in that one conversation. I've seen it so many times, so many times. All right, people, be sure to love. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Like if you like, join us if you haven't subscribed. I appreciate you listening to me attempting to understand me, and occasionally validating me with a comment. <laughs> and until we talk again, my friends, best of all, know that I would love to hear you and that you are blessed.